welcome to another video. Um, this time I'm going to play The Walking Dead. Well, I'm going to explain why I'm playing The Walking Dead. Right now I just like want a very chill game, like to relax. Because all the games I've been playing have been really intense. And uh, first of all I heard that The Walking Dead was like this very story driven game. Not you don't have to do much at all, um, but yeah, uh, I played I played it a little bit, uh, so I I, w I just wanted to see if it was good for like YouTube videos, and I figured out it was. So let's go. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is the hard to play. Okay. <laughs> I reckon you didn't do it then. Hmm. Does it really matter? Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what to say? And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that. Even if he was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Sure. <laughs> so what? Regardless, oh, okay. could be you just married the wrong woman. Could be I did. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more oh, serious if I do say Watch so. Out. What's out? This other time. <laughs>
tasty. Ah! Fuck! My leg! Let's just kick the window out. Motherfucker! I need to drag myself out that window. The shotgun is over there. Yeah, so there's a shotgun shell. Pick up the shotgun. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay. Officer? Let's take this off. Where? Okay. Officer. Son of a bitch. Holy shit! What in the hell? What the fuck are you? Get away from me! Did I pick up the shotgun? Where is the shotgun? There it is, there it is. Oh shit. Are you serious? Should I do it? Okay, I will. Jesus. I might have to get the frame retired. In the recording program. Yeah. <laughs> this game's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? Are you dead? Hey! Nah. Are you dead? Oh, look. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Oh shit. Yeah, this guy's the leg hurt. Fuck's sake. Oh shit, okay.
Okay, so I think it's good now. It's good now. Hello? Anybody? This view. So yeah, uh, I stopped playing around a little bit earlier than this, actually. Maybe I'll just go for a dip. <sighs> What's this? I'll fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Help! No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Okay. Let's see. We can go I there. If anybody's home. Okay. So this game seemed perfect for when I ended up to play, like a very chill game. Even though the game is intense, you don't have to be moving constantly. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Okay. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Okay, let's go inside. Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people. Kids' drawings. So, this is probably that one kid's home. It's fake, damn. It's fake. <laughs> oh, Jesus. A son of it. Okay, so you have all these things to explore. Yeah, damn. Okay. Nothing. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Walkie talkie. Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Mm. So nothing at all in here, just a walkie-talkie, and that's it. Uh, yeah, let's go back. Don't slip again, please. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, there's the fun. Maybe that's something on there. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Shh. 
shit. <sighs> what the fuck? Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Hmm. Where, are your, Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Yeah, I was just saying, like, are you safe? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. There she is. <laughs> oh shit, what the fuck? Okay, cute. Oh son of a bitch, fucking Blood stain on the floor. You ruined my life. Oh, cocksucker. Take it, bitch. Fuck off, bitch. We get right. Okay, there's some hammer. Can. Okay. Okay. Jesus, <laughs> look at her face. <laughs> okay. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Yeah. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? It's just... yeah. We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents won't come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. We can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but... That's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Poor girl, Jesus. Guess it's night time now. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. We'll move as fast as we can. Proceeds to walk very slowly. <laughs> Let's go to the gate. Where are you hiding? Okay. Shit, what the fuck? Are we going to die? They're after, after me. me, not you. Why? Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. We're friendly. We're friendly. There's a little girl here. Oh, 
shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. <clears throat> oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. A lot in the forest. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take <clears throat> you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. A neighbor. Because if I said just some guy, then we'll be worth it. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just want... Oh shit! It's Chet! Let's go! Get to my car! Go! I want to kill it. Oh, nice. Say hi to your dad. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care of you two. <sighs> Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No, you're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. We just need we some just help. We need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. You bet your ass. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your <clears throat> sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. What's wrong, bitch? Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Out of Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, 
Looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. <gasps> it smells like... I know what it smells like. Duty. My mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor <clears throat> and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. <laughs> We call him Duck, though. Duck? Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, <clears throat> Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. A fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. Okay, so... I think I'll leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave you a like also. Pretty hair. Shut up. It gets lots of tangles. Shut up. Um, oh shit. Um, so, again, thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to share this video with your friends. I think I will continue this series because it's been pretty interesting. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, so peace for all of y'all.